okay so this is how i use some of the canva premium designs without watermark going with the design when i'm done so let's say i want to design a, a flyer let me choose from instagram post and i want to design a flyer and i go through the templates here and i find out that the one i love so much is one of the designs i paid okay for example let me click this the match hotel <coughs> So most of the designs have um most of the designs that have the canva watermarker the watermark is attached to a particular design or just few designs in few yeah few objects in the design so for instance in this particular design the canva watermark is just attached to these two pictures so i can replace these two pictures with something else but then still maintain the design I have. Let's say, for instance, I want to replace it with this beautiful picture of me and Zizi. So I can replace it. And of course, in your design, you're going to you're going to definitely need to put your own you know, personalized features, what you want. You're going to edit all this. Even the right tops, you're going to edit it to put what you want. And so I do that for the two pictures. And voila. The watermark is gone so if i if i export this picture it's going to go out without the watermark so that is how i get to do the designs then some of the designs are also some, sometimes the watermarks are attached to the background and so i tend to change the color of the background or change the design of the background so the only problem the only issue you're going to have is that that particular assuming the watermark is attached to a particular design or picture that you like you want to be in the design it's really not going to work you definitely have to remove it and replace it with something else but then the whole list the whole design the template is still going to be there for you to make adjustments and export without the watermark so for example as the watermark is attached to the background i could just change my background and see the template to see there so the background i could change it to something else i could change it to black I could change it to white i could change it to any other thing I, and once you change it it will remove the watermark because it's now a new template per se you're not putting your own design then sometimes as well the watermark will not go out especially if it's in the background so what i do is i work on the transparency i know there's this design i tried to do one certain time and i tried everything possible to remove the watermark but it wasn't going out so what i had to do was just to reduce the transparency of that particular design so it was the background actually this one is not coming up i don't think this one has two different backgrounds but the one that one had a color the background and also a picture i needed the picture but then the color had the color the yeah the main background had watermark that wouldn't go and if i'm to remove it it would take away almost everything in the design so i just had to reduce the transparency and if i'm able to find that design i'll still um, add it to this video but i was able to change the transparency i was able to change um, i was able to reduce transparency and so it reduced that canva watermark that was there to zero so it wasn't there again the watermark was not there again so that way i can easily export this picture now if i'm done editing and i have my water and i have my flyer without the watermark so that is how i the hack uh, i have learned to use so let's try to export this let me try to see if this is an image you see so it's coming out as save not as a premium package it's not coming out it's not asking me to pay because i have removed what carried the canva so voila my picture is ready let me confirm that this is in my phone at the moment so okay so there you go so yeah the design is here it's in my phone so this is it so it's saved and then the watermark is not there that is it i hope this was helpful thank you